Hi guys, this is Trinity Faye here. So tonight's video is going to be about showing you some items that I use personally when I do tarot card readings or oracle readings. So first of all, when I start a reading, before I start a reading for somebody, I cleanse and clear my area, the area where my client's going to be sitting. I set up um, and some of the items that I use to set up are as follows. Crystals, to me, I can't, I can do a reading without crystals, but I like to have a variety of different types, clear quartz, um, rose quartz, rooster quartz, um, I have a bowl here, <clears throat> and I'll usually take a bowl and set it in the corner of the table, and then I'll take various crystals, and I will set them all around the table, around where I'm going to be doing the tarot reading. And it helps to bring, I'll use rough ones and smooth ones, it helps to bring the energy out of the cards a little bit better for me in my personal opinion um, the crystals are very powerful and they hold a lot of energy they um, project energy out into the air and around us they're very protective they have lots of different qualities that in my opinion just help enhance the reading this is a tea light candle. There's many different kinds of candles. I generally will burn one in a candle holder. Um, on my table, I usually have one on each side. Then I have the crystal set out and laid around. I burn different incense sticks. There's all different kinds you can order online. You can get from metaphysical shops. Um, I usually use a cleansing type like a purification, a sage, a frankincense, um, lavender's good. There's a lot of different types of incense that you can, there's billions of different types of incense that you can use, but I'll burn an incense or two. Um, generally, I will burn frankincense, resin, and palo santo before and during the reading, and even after I just cleanse the area. Um, I also use sage. That's another item that I use. And I cleanse the room with the sage. I cleanse the cards. Um, sometimes I will cleanse the person depending on how their energy feels to me when they come in. Um, and if they feel themselves like they need it. Um, and I do not charge extra for that. Um, and as far as charging clients... It's whatever resonates with you. If you don't want to charge and it doesn't feel right to you, then don't charge for the reading. If you want to accept gifts, which a lot of tarot readers do, um, you can accept gifts instead of payment. If you want to accept payment, accept payment. Um, you're doing a job no matter how you look at it. So... It's entirely up to you on how you want to handle taking payment. But you are using your time and energy and you're trying to help somebody. So the reason I do tarot readings is because I have learned to open my intuition and use my gift. I don't need to use it for myself. I don't need, I can and do sometimes, but not very often because I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it to help others. And we all go through very hard times in our life at some point in time. We might have more good times than bad or vice versa. But the point is people get very down and upset or they get excited they're having a new baby whatever different situation calls for different you know types of uh reactions we'll just say 
bottom line, it's up to you whether you want to charge or not. It's all about helping your clients and helping people heal themselves and feel better and kind of have some direction in their path on what to do in certain situations and some suggestions to help them. So anyway, guys, just making another short video to tell you some items you can use when you do your tarot readings. Also, I forgot to mention, sorry guys, a tarot cloth. I use tarot cloth as well, and I think that most readers do that. Um, sorry about that, I didn't mean to drop you. Anyway, um, I just wanted to give you an idea of some items that you can use when you do your tarot readings. Okay? Thanks, guys. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.